Hey, what's up you guys? It is this new closet back into a brand new video. And as you can see, I have the Air, the Travis Scott Air Forces right here. Now, these are the cell colorway. So, um, they do look a little creamy. Um, not a lot, but you can tell by the midsoles, of course. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to tie dye these with um, this, of course. With RIT. Ritz, Ritz, um, it is a dye that you can buy at Target, Walmart, or Michaels. I per I presumably purchased it at Michaels, it was like $5. Now, I bought two just so I can turn the shoe a little bit more purple because I want it to be like a very, very bright, dark purple. So, of course, I went with purple. Now, I was gonna go with wine, but um, yeah, I just want them purple. So, that's all you'll be needing. You're gonna be needing a bottle of Ritz. Um, and then, of course, some uh, soap or, sorry guys, uh, okay, I see how it is, fine. And you're gonna be needing some laundry detergent. It can be any uh, laundry detergent of your choice. It doesn't have to be Tide. Now, I went with the Tide pods, but it can be like regular laundry detergent as well. Um, and then you're gonna be needing a bucket of water and some dish soaps. Um, that is this is super interesting now. I came across this right now, but the inside uh, Like at the bottom of the shoe is actually very fussy. It feels like a tennis ball, which is pretty badass But yeah, I just wanted to point that out <laughs> Now that we have our bucket filled with water um, What you're gonna want to do is actually grab a little bit of dish soap, uh, like a spoon, a spoon of dish soap is fine. Um, and I just did that right now and I forgot to record it, but who cares? So once, it can be any dish soap actually. But yeah, um, once you've done that, you're gonna go ahead and grab your shoe, like I have right here. And um, now I am doing this indoors and it is a terrible idea. And I'm probably gonna get yelled at when my parents get home, but um, once you have your dish soap inside the water, you're gonna go ahead and grab your shoe and dip it in there, you know, mix it in around, and then uh, make sure that the shoe is show is make sure that the shoe is actually uh, soaking wet, and then uh, put it out, dump out the water again, put in more uh, new water, and then uh, fill it in with your tie dye. So yeah, guys, let me show you the demonstration. Oh. Nothing. Here's the first one. Now our second one right here. And here it goes. Just mix it in around nice and slowly. I know I didn't do that one for the first one, but who cares? It's all right. I don't even think you need to do this since the shoe is actually clean, but still we're just taking our precautionary steps to make sure that everything turns out perfectly fine. And once you've done that, what I uh, want to do is actually put those shoes aside on another bag or something and then we're gonna dump this water out and actually get our dye in. Wow it was actually already open but um all right let's do this and um I'm actually using the whole bottle so yeah FYI and there it goes hopefully Nothing goes out wrong. Um, I hope my mom doesn't kill me for doing this. Yeah, make sure to throw the uh, seal in the bottle perfectly or else you'll be dropping this all over the place and you don't want that. So, here goes nothing. Oh my God. Oh.
As you can see, I just cleaned this one with a bit of rejuvenator. Um, I just took this precautionary step. I mean, you don't have to do it necessarily, but I just did it so um, some of the dye could fall off and uh, you know, I could leave it looking a little bit much uh, solid. So yeah, um, right now I'll be showing you how to get rid of this. As you can see, the shoe was left with some stains and I'll be showing you how to get rid of that. Now, the only materials that you'll be needing for this is actually some a little bit of acetone or nail polish, any of them works. And then some rags or some cotton rounds. Now I'm gonna be using a rag, but um, cotton, round, cotton rounds are the most efficient way to do it. But yeah, uh, either one of those works perfectly. Some of the stains with um acetone and uh the little rag and as you can see um, i was having a very hard time uh however it is worth a try i mean you never know it could probably come off but yeah um small advice guys if you're gonna do this uh, i would recommend you actually taping up the midsole even though um dye and water will still get in there i mean it's some it's worth something so you know they don't come out of stain as um you know they came out but yeah um anyways guys i hope you enjoyed the video I'm going to do some B-roll of the shoes and how they came out. So yeah, guys, peace.